The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has once again expressed concerns over the prevailing situation in the war torn Afghanistan. The Taliban ruled Afghanistan has faced global criticism and a sort of ostracization for its repressive and exclusive rule, wherein it barred the girls and women from higher education and banned them from a large number of professions. Persisting problems have further been exacerbated by terrorism that is once again rearing its head from the country rugged mountains. The international community has time and again called out for a peaceful resolution of Afghan problems, but nothing has apparently worked till now. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres recently said that the international community was worried about the stability in Afghanistan. While the global community had flagged concerns about the women rights, financial situation and drug trafficking in the country, a sudden spike in the number of terrorist attacks has added to their worries. Guterres said the situation in Afghanistan was the largest humanitarian crisis in the world today and that he would meet the Taliban when it was the right moment to do so. The participants are worried about the stability of Afghanistan and have expressed those serious concerns. They relate to the persistent presence of terrorist organizations, a risk for the country, the region, and further afield. The lack of inclusivity, which importantly includes human rights, in particular those of women and girls, severely undermined by recent Taliban decisions. And the spread of drug trafficking with all its dramatic consequences. The Taliban returned to power in August 2021 and have restricted Afghan women and girls from participating in the most areas of public and daily life. Women nationals have also been barred from working with the UN in a country where nearly 29 million people depend on humanitarian assistance. The UN Security Council recently unanimously adopted a resolution condemning the decision, saying that it undermines human rights and humanitarian principles. The international community have repeatedly urged the Taliban to lift the ban and allow women to lead a dignified life at par with the men, but the group, which previously promised liberal approach towards women, has taken a U-turn and has barred women from the mainstream. The current ban on Afghan women working for the United Nations and national and international NGOs is unacceptable and puts lives in jeopardy. Afghanistan is facing isolation and suspension of humanitarian operations over restrictions on women, but Taliban have already made it clear that they are not going to change. Despite repeated multilateral and bilateral discussions, Little progress has been made on Afghan issues since the Taliban takeover. Over 180 international organizations suspended operations during the crucial winter months last year as a result of the ban on female NGO workers. And while people continue to wait for a better future, observers predict 2023-2 will be a year of disappointment and sadness. The future, they say, is immensely bleak for Afghans.